The largest beaver dam. The beaver is an unusual animal. Many others build nests or burrows, but the beaver went further and became an engineer. Thanks to their engineering talents and special anatomy, these animals are capable of damming a river with a real dam. Moreover, a beaver dam is not very consistent with the relatively small size of this animal. The beaver is a logger created by nature itself. Its sharp incisors act as a saw and are perfectly complemented by strong jaws with powerful muscles. This is what allows beavers to fell trees, of which dams and so-called huts will be made later. The strength and performance of the beaver also deserves a separate mention. This animal can move a mass exceeding its own weight 10 times during one day, which corresponds to approximately 220 to 230 kilograms. During one year, a beaver is able to fell over 200 trees. As a result of such a vigorous activity, the surrounding landscape undergoes significant changes. At the same time, beavers are not limited to carpentry only. They also carry out underwater activities, constantly collecting fragments of rocks, stones, and digging up silt, in this way they try to make the reservoir in which the beaver dam is located deeper. Consequently, the beaver's habitat becomes more spacious. Beavers are prone to construction and their activity is unique, it is not difficult to guess that under certain conditions they can not only radically alter the landscape, but also build a giant structure. This is exactly what happened in Buffalo National Park, Canada. The beavers living there started building the local dam back in the 70s of the 20th century. And over the time since then, there was never such an impression that their long construction was finished. As a result, its size has steadily increased, and when the beaver dam was last measured, it was about 850 meters long. That is about the size of eight soccer fields put together. It can even be seen from space, and to be able to estimate its size from the ground, you have to resort to the help of special devices, such as a helicopter. To be able to get a good look at the huge beaver dam, the park management even built a special trestle. As for the regular beaver dams, their length varies from a modest 10 to the considerable 100 meters. The previous record was built by beavers on the Jefferson River and was about 150 meters shorter. The aforementioned structure remained unrecorded for nearly 40 years. At any rate, the Buffalo Park staff, knowing that beavers were building a dam, had no idea of its actual size. And the fact that the dam was built in the 70s became apparent in the photos taken at that time by a satellite. It was discovered by a complete stranger, using a Google Earth map. The discovery itself was also accidental, because the researcher was actually analyzing permafrost melting in the North Canadian territories. Some may think it's strange that such a huge dam has been unnoticed for so long, but it should be taken into account that the territory of Buffalo Park is enormous and exceeds the area of Switzerland. On top of that, the Beaver Dam, along with its builders, is in such a hard-to-reach area that most people just don't go there. It seems that the beavers have suspended construction of their super dwelling for some time and are expanding two other dams, whose size is not as large. Both are flanked by the main facility, and if the beavers work on them with the same diligence as they do now, the dams will merge in a few years to become more than a kilometer-long structure. It must be admitted that no other animal changes the surrounding landscape as much as the beaver does. Only humans have been able to achieve more remarkable results in this direction. That is why American indigenous people have always treated beavers with special respect and called them the little people. Moreover, scientific studies show that they are especially significant for migratory birds, whose numbers are highly dependent on dams. Despite the fact that it takes a lot of trees to build dams, the effect of beaver activity on the environment is unequivocally positive. Waterfall, rivers, and the riparian ecosystem all benefit greatly from beaver dams. The dams create new dammed areas around which new thickets gradually emerge to help birds breed. There is reason to believe that the number of migratory songbirds is steadily decreasing due to the lack of beaver dams. In any case, the more families of beavers build their structures in a particular area the more diverse and numerous the population of migratory songbirds in that area will be. And this effect was most noticeable in semi-arid areas. According to scientists, riparian systems have been severely degraded recently. 
Data on the importance of beaver dams for their restoration suggest that if beavers were allowed to lead their natural way of life, it would largely restore nature and increase the bird population. However, people do consider beavers to be pests, as they fell trees and often flood areas belonging to local residents. And while there were millions of beavers in the North American territories in the beginning, after mass hunting began they were almost exterminated and beaver dams disappeared almost everywhere. According to zoologists and ecologists, beavers are a kind of ecosystem engineer. And in light of the fact that with further climate change could come even greater droughts, beavers could become a significant means of combating them and desertification of the land.